What's up you guys, Westside here. It's been a minute since I've done a tutorial, so I figured I would do one on speed ramping today. I see a lot of people doing it in the FPV community, sometimes not always the right way, so I wanted to show you guys my method for speed ramping inside Premiere Pro. Other editing programs will be very similar, and you can use the theories that we're gonna talk about in different editing programs, but today I'm gonna show you how to do it inside Premiere. So speed ramping, or sometimes called time remapping, is basically the technique or the art of speeding up or slowing down your footage to increase that cinematic feeling or the dramatic vibe of your footage. So let's dive right in and I'll show you guys how I do it. Alright so here is my Premiere Pro timeline and as you can see I already have some speed ramps done. I just want to kind of go over what is going on here and why I chose to speed ramp the way I did right here. So basically I am starting from this clip which is going slow and then it speeds up just a little bit here at the end. And then the next clip starts a little bit faster and slows down. That basically is speed ramping. It's the fluid motion of changing the speed to help transition your clips. All right, so we're gonna drag this clip on our timeline right here. And this is just 100% speed, pretty boring. We're gonna spice it up a little bit with a time remap, AKA speed ramping. We're gonna right click on this little effects box right here click time remapping, make sure you click speed, and now it's gonna give us the ability to drop points on our timeline and mess with the speed. So we're going to hit P on our keyboard. It's gonna bring up your little pointer tool, and let's find a spot where we wanna slow it down. Right there, right when we get close to this guy, we want to slow a little bit. So we're gonna drop this point right there. We're gonna hit V on our keyboard to get our pointer back. We're gonna drop this all the way to 50. And right now it currently just slows down right at that point from 100 to 50. No gradual motion. So what we can do is we can drag these little gray things out to the side and it's gonna make our speed change gradual. That's nice, isn't it? And then right when we pass him, we can drop another point. Hit P on our keyboard to get our pointer. V to get our tool back. Then we will go back up to 100%. And right when we get to this other guy, we're gonna hit P and grab that tool, V. And again, we're just gonna keep doing this until we're done with our whole little line of passes. So now you can see we have some speed ramps done. Speed back up to 100, back to 50, back to 100, back to 50. Doesn't that look a lot cooler? And we can even come in here and smooth out our speed ramps a little bit more. If you zoom in and highlight these little guys, you'll see this little blue tool. You can grab the top or bottom and just drag it. And it's going to kind of give expo to your speed ramp so it's not as linear. We can do that right here too. Make sure this is highlighted. Drag that. Make sure this is highlighted. Drag that and you just kind of play around until you it, you're happy with it. All right, you guys, that's it for me today. We're going to keep it simple, not overcomplicate things, but there's a lot you can do with speed ramping. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure you like this video, or you can always hit me up on Facebook, Discord, Instagram, wherever. I'm always around for all of your guys' help. Feel free to reach out. Until next time, you guys, West Side. Oh, wait, I wanted to show off my cool new bot grinder shirt. You guys seen these? Matty Blunts and Bot Grinder collaboration. Um, I think Bot Grinder has them available on his Teespring. Make sure you head over and check out Bot Grinder and Matty Blunts. Both awesome guys. All right, you guys. West Side out. Yeah.